friends at St. John's. This is our second in a series of who knows how many videos we'll be doing before we can gather again at our church home for worship. Your church council had a conference call uh, meeting this last Sunday and all of them were present, even uh, one from Florida. It was so good to hear the familiar voices, to pray and plan together, even to share some laughs. What I want you to know is that your church leaders are amazing people of faith. They will get us through this crisis and help us recover when it is over. I believe we can be stronger and better than ever before. One of the important things we discussed was what will happen on that day we're all looking forward to with such eager longing, that day when we uh, can gather again for the first time to worship together. It may be a few weeks from now, it may be months from now, but whenever it happens, uh, we're going to pull out all the stops, literally. Teresa will be playing our organ as loud as she can play it, and we'll be singing songs that raise the roof. We have been forced to delay uh, First Holy Communion and Confirmation, but on that Sunday, we will go ahead and plan to proceed with uh, First Holy Communion and with Confirmation. If there are any babies we need to baptize, we'll do that on that first Sunday also. If this crisis has taught us nothing else, it has reminded us that our worship time is precious. I suspect that never again for the rest of our lives will any of us take a single minute of our worship time together for granted. I want to share with you part of a prayer from the Lutheran Book of Prayer. It is entitled, For Those Who Work in the Medical Arts. I think of medicine as a science, but in many ways it is indeed an art. We come before you now, O oh God, with the knowledge that you have created us and are also able to restore us. Because you are the great physician, we pray for those whom you use to perform your works of healing. We rejoice that your spirit leads men and women to become doctors, nurses, dentists, research scientists, medical technicians, orderlies, and hospital staff members. We thank and praise you for the miracles you perform through them. We thank and praise you for the miracles you perform through them. Yes, we do. I invite you to join me in praying for those miracles. Not only for those struggling to stay alive on ventilators, but pray for all in the most dire of circumstances. And pray for the miracle that one obscure researcher or team of scientists is just waiting to discover the treatment or cure for this virus. It has happened before in medical history it will happen again. Somewhere, somehow, someone is now on the verge of a breakthrough we all need. Join me in praying that it will come quickly. Pray for God to guide the person who may wake up in the morning with a new idea, give it a try, and it will work. God bless you. See you in church.